Okay, welcome to the new video. Um, so I'm sorry I uh, got too excited about the Clue rework, and uh, I ended up getting from a single Clue that I did on my break, I got a Black Dragon Mask. These three items are needed for a Master Emote Step, so that brings us one step closer to um, easily completing Master Clues. And I've got Thirty-nine scroll boxes to potentially complete. Um, this will be very interesting. Um, initially, when the Clue rework came out, there was a little bug, um, and it only applied to Treasure Seeker players. For whatever reason, um, the Treasure Seeker relic, one of the core features, was not present from the game at the moment. It was the... Uh, minimum steps they didn't have that for some reason so people were pissed off at that but they promptly fixed it so now I can complete these clues of course I can't complete this one but um, you know we'll see how many we can actually do juggling is no longer an option god another one juggling is no longer um, necessary for clue scrolls so yeah god three in a row let me at least get one I can complete. Um, let's see. ALP. What is this? Penguins? Fremenic? Nope. Uh, actually, uh, I don't know. No, I don't think I can complete that one. Oh, well. Okay, so I guess now is as good of time as any to finally purchase the Hunter Skill Cape. We have a coordinate clue located in the wilderness, and it's right by the Black Chinchampa hunting ground. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to go purchase the Hunter Cape, because that'll give us five teleports a day to that clue location. Well, it's going to be a clue location for us, but, you know, not its intended use, but it's a use nonetheless. This is one we can actually do, um, jig it, jig, jig. Uh, we have a rune spear KP that we still have in the bank from uh, Taubiwana Trio. I don't think I alked that yet. We got a rune heraldic helm from that same black dragon mask clue we got at um, on break at work. So I'm going to go withdraw these items and uh, go get a cleaning cloth for the... Rune Spear. Yep, there it is. And, yeah. Completable clue right there. Nice. Okay, so here's a clue scroll item worth noting. It's a uh, Ceridomen Coif. Uh, that'll be our best in slot range bonus for a little bit until we get possibly a Robin Hood hat. So, yeah, pretty nice clue there. Okay, yeah, I know a lot of clips, I know, but... Just some interesting thoughts on clue scrolls. I thought this one would be incompletable, the Fairy Queen Resistance Hideout, because one of the locations dumps you out. It. It's just a multitude of locations across the game map for fairy rings, but it turns out it'll progress to the Fairy Ring Resistant, the Fairy Queen Resistance Hideout, even if you have those regions locked. So just something to keep in mind. All is not lost with this clue. Here's another good item. Uh, we got Armadale Plate Legs, another unique, and we got Guthix Dehyde Boots, which are best in slot until we obtain Ranger Boots. They also get a nice prayer bonus. This is a very interesting clue. It's a Ceridome and Dehyde Body, two of them, and a duplicate Guthix Dehyde Boots. So that's our second piece of the Ceridome set for God Dehyde. So yeah, very nice um, upgrade there. All right, here is our last clue we can complete for the grind. If you're wondering, here are the items we got from them. And let me just complete this, and I'll leave the recording on to see what we get from the final one of the grind. Ooh! Funny thing that, um, the Zamorak Full Helm, that is a required item for an emote clue for a master, but the Shadow Sword is a reward from the, 
Curse of the Empty Lord, which requires you to start Desert Treasure, which is, of course, impossible with our current loadouts. So this is a... It's only good for the equip a um, god rune armor set, but we don't have anywhere near a complete set for that. Um, in terms of god rune sets, we have... Guthix at 2, Guthix at 3, um, I don't think we have a Guthix plumed helmet, nope, so we're just missing the Guthix plumed helmet for that task. Uh, I think I'm going to go to Elder Chaos Druids now, see you then. Okay, our second spirit tree has finally finished growing, so we're going to check the health, nab that sweet XP drop and travel between here and Brimhaven for 250 points. 19,000 now. Um, I've got an Iron Dragon task. I'm going to try to see how truly horrible they are before I come to a consensus on whether to block them. Uh, it's a low amount, so I'm, what tasks I want to ban are basically the ones that take the longest and I, I basically have to balance which tasks take the longest and are also the least rewarding. So I'm going to try Iron Dragons. They can drop a Visage, which we will need eventually for a task. So I might not just count them out just now, but we'll see. Alright, I uh, thought that only Steels dropped these, but I got Runite Limbs, which you need for a uh, task. You need to Fletch. I think you need to Fletch a Rune Crossbow, and you also need to Wield one. So yeah, that's that out of the way. Oh, soul rune drop. Not very useful in old school, but uh, soul runes fetch quite a pretty penny in RS3 nowadays because the vulnerability spell, you can uh, basically put it inside a potion called a vulnerability bomb and they require three soul runes a potion, so it's basically taking three times the amount of the game, but yeah. Um, this task honestly isn't that bad with extreme anti- with a uh, with extended anti-fire, it's, you know, it's like a 10-minute task. Um, I forgot you don't really need to pray mage here, and I've teleported twice to the monastery. So, yeah, you could probably do it in 10 minutes. It was 10 minutes from, like, um, running from the spirit tree to here, so it's not that bad. You get deep plate legs, which you need for stuff, and it's like a decent alk. Yeah, that's all. Probably won't ban these. I don't know what I'll ban, though. We'll see. So I ended up getting a task of uh, Ice Giants, um, since it's another one of those big, uh, large monsters, or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to uh, grind up some steel bars down at the uh, lower, the mining guild area to, um, you know, so we can get some cannonballs to cannon them and speed up the task. They do have a low amount of health, but um, yeah, it's just anything we can do to speed up the task. Now we just have to... Find a world where we can, uh, get 300 steel bars. Okay, moment of truth. I haven't even tested this yet. Will we find another thing that does not work with Production Master? Okay, wonderful. I would have, you know, been very unhappy if that didn't work. Time to make these cannonballs. Okay, so here's a wonderful point to leave off for the morning. We got a Jad task, finally. Um, yeah. Jad task. I've got plenty of prayer potions, and I can even make super restores and brews, um, just in case, which I'm probably gonna do. I think super restores they need. What is their secondary? Brews. Super, red spider's egg, that's pretty That's pretty simple to do. So yeah, I'm going to go create the unfinished potions and prepare for Jad. We've got plenty of good gear for it. It's just a matter of, you know, DPSing it down with uh, Enchanted Slayer stuff. Okay, here we are at Fight Caves. We're a bit over-prepared for the uh, speed and the DPS we can dish out, but, you know, better to be safe than sorry, right? So I failed Jad. Um, I unlocked the tank uh, hit from Jad task, but I failed. I got down to the healers, and I um, 
misthought what the correct attack was, and I second-guessed myself, and of course, you know, I died. Um, so here I am. My task is uh, trolls right now. I'm probably going to end up banning these eventually. Um, the only drop I'm really after from these is the granite shield, as it's a clue item required for clue scrolls. Uh, an emote item required for clue scrolls. So once I get that, they're just going to go on the ban. I can kill him in Wilderness in the God Wars dungeon, but I honestly don't think it's worth it. Same thing with Ogres. It's just a long task. It's multi, and I honestly don't know how it's going to go like in that dungeon with um, explosive attacks. I can't really use a correct protection prayer, so yeah. I'll uh, update you if I get the Granite Shield. Finally got the Granite Shield. Uh, I've got 63 left, so I'm going to finish this up at Death Plateau. Now this is a task I will ban, it's uh, Mithril Dragons. 30 of them is quite enormous for Mithril Dragons, at, at least our, um, you know, at least our, our combat bracket, we kind of would like a, uh, a uh, trident and higher defense levels for Mithril Dragons, and 30 of them is just kind of crazy. Um, we don't really need the Dragon Full Helm because there's a task associated with it, but you need the full set, so that's area restrictions all and all that, so this will be the first task we ban. Unlike irons and steels, it's not a quick task, and it's pretty sure it's the same visage chance, so there goes the first block, mithril dragons, and we get black dragons. Funnily enough, KBD, he drops Laron's keys on trailblazers, so I'm actually not too irked about that task. Okay, so I decided to um train construction for leagues. Um, I don't have quite the amount of money you would need for the planks. Uh, I need to cut like 8,600 teak logs, but um, once I get the money from revenants mainly, I'm going to use that money towards construction, and it's it's going to cost a pretty penny, but once we get the money, I'll already have the logs chopped, and you get a nice amount of clue nests from this, so it's pretty chill. I'm going to get like 11 million woodcutting XP and, uh, already on top of what I have, and then I can um, finish off the 25 mil at like... Uh, cutting these with the trailblazer axe because it's it gives both wood cutting and fire making xp it's the efficient way to train it and then i guess i can train close the fire making gap with logs from whatever drops i know kbd drops noted u logs so um <clears throat> if and when we go for the visage from him because it's the best chance of getting it if and when we go for the visage from him uh we can burn the u logs he drops so yeah so after doing some research, I might not need to chop as many of these as I feel like I need to. It's probably just a waste of time, because if I do Callisto tasks, eventually I will um, get logs from them to turn into planks. But surprising enough, um, I wanted to use the Laron's keys, because I want the steel bars from the chest to, you know, cut the time we need to prep for cannonballs. And uh, we got the Dagenhai robe bottom from our third Laron's key. We've opened the chest nine times in total, and we got one piece of Dagon High. Pretty lucky that. Um, now I'm going to mine some iron ore at the mining guild for the uh, steel bars we need for Slayer. So yeah, I'm gonna do like an hour of that so we don't have to keep going back every time, but yep, yeah, I'm gonna do that now really happy on those legs so I don't know if it's like bad luck or whatever but I've got like a hundred guard kills I haven't reset this since um I was hunting for medium clues on my ultimate but I've gotten like a hundred plus guard kills with the cannon and I've only gotten two medium scroll boxes oh there's my third so I don't know if the I don't know if the uh, Falador Diary bonus bugs it out, because I was hoping it would actually increase the chance, like an extra 20% on top of the 1 in 20, making it like like 1 in 18, but I don't know. Um, just got, I'm on my third scroll box, and I'm just going to use up these cannonballs and um, see if I can get a pair of ranger boots, or at least um, 
progress a piece of a god vestment set for the task, but we'll see. You know, I really don't want to go motherload mine, and I don't know. When I get drunk, I really like to do stuff I dislike, because, you know, being drunk makes, you know, things a little bit more enjoyable, but we'll see. So I'm nearing the end of my medium clue grind, testing out guards, and the rate's actually not that bad. 25 in 25 minutes, like an average of one clue a minute with Treasure Seeker? It's honestly pretty phenomenal. Um, easies, mediums, and beginners are one of the clue tiers where uh, un unnatural selection players have to struggle with because they have to basically complete they basically have to compete at implings for the um task set regarding to those and they also don't get access to the minimum steps so easy medium and beginners are yeah they're one of they, they don't just get it checked off automatically like they do for superiors always dropping hards and elites so um yeah it's pretty nice um but oh, i gotta repair the can and for the last 18 cannonballs, but I doubt I'll get another clue scroll. So, this is just the luck from, uh, <laughs> this is just the luck from League's Trailblazers, boys. This is a one, two, three, four. This is a quad unique from a medium clue. Sadly, no rangers yet. Oh, well. Okay, so we're done our medium clues for now. Um, this is the loot that we got from them. No ranger boots quite yet, but um, yeah. I ended up getting a quad unique from a medium clue for unique items, which is kind of hilarious to be honest. But um, yeah, I'm just stockpiling up on some cannonballs. I had some uh, steel bars in the bank that I initially wanted to use at Hellhounds, our current Slayer task. But I want to get these ranger boots and, you know, make the progress towards the clueless scroll. I don't know. It's it's kind of crazy to go for because, you know. But, you know, with the treasure seeker relic, it's definitely possible. It's just why, you know. Okay, that is fill 40 medium clue collection log slots. Still no ranger boots. Um, the only other tasks for medium clues are ranger boots and... The Clueless Scroll. Don't even know if I'll go for that. I'm 10% of the way there, so you never know. Maybe. Okay, this is our 100th medium clue. Still no Ranger Boots. Let's see what we get. Oh my god. I've already... <sighs> Those are my third pair each. Can you imagine if I got Rangers in there as well? What a fucking joke. So, I made another 4,000 cannonballs. Still no ranger boots. Um, as of this moment, I am rank... 35 for medium clues, which is kind of insane. Uh, and not having ranger boots. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the best method of obtaining them for treasure seeker players. I don't know if abyssal leeches are better. They've got 10 health. There's like... 30 of them in the abyss, but, um, you also can't use a cannon there, so that reduces the kills per hour. I mean, I'm getting these guards down fairly well. You know, I kill them fairly quickly when they respawn, so I barely have any downtime, so, I don't know. Um, I get like an average of one clue scroll box a minute. So, yeah, um see how many clue boxes I get in 4,000 cannonballs. Okay, just want to show you guys something. Quick update. 133 mediums done, and look at us. We are top page for uh, medium clues done without ranger boots. So, of course, I'm gonna go back to killing guards. I have killed... 4,354 guards without ranger boots, and I've got 3,000 cannonballs to burn through, so, yeah, um, I'm getting kind of tired of this bullshit, but 
That's just how the cookie crumbles, I guess. Okay, it only took us 140 medium clues complete for our first pair of ranger boots. Nice number to leave off on, nice and even number. So now I can stack up the remaining caskets I would need for 400, should I go for that. But yeah, equip a pair of ranger boots, 100 league points, honestly, not worth it just for those points, but you know, you can also use them to equip for uh, Pegasians, but we can't get Eternals, so we can't get the maximum amount of points from that, but yeah, got Rangers. Still missing Wizard Boots, which are technically best in slot for our areas, so yeah. Um, I think this is the end of the video, to be honest. I've got a lot of clips, so yeah, um, probably just don't know what I'm going to do next. We'll see. Literally the next medium clue, and of course, we get back-to-back -back rangers in the most quintessential spot to get them. The ranging guild. <laughs> Second pair of ranger boots on the account. I know I said last clip was the last clip, but I, I really didn't want to leave this for another video. I, I feel like it would be a, a wonderful... <laughs> ending clip it's ridiculous we go super dry and of course we get a dupe uh back to back hilarious the world works in mysterious ways i guess anyways have a good one